Welcome to Hanson's Phil, I'm Life. I'm Jim, your host and navigator. In this video, we will show you how we fix an expired visa and why it wasn't something to be afraid of. Everyone makes mistakes and addressing it as soon as possible makes it go easy. So let's get with it. I had a little confusion recently about my visa because I looked at my ACR card and it said that it expired in September. Well, my visa actually expired in July. So I was, at this time when I checked, it was about two weeks overdue or expired. I overstayed my visa. So I was wondering what kind of fine that they were gonna give me and I had to wait over the weekend to go down to the immigration office. So I went in and explained my situation and I asked for my documents. They looked them over and then they gave me my option. They said that they could give me a two month extension, not the six month extensions that I had been getting. So, okay and, and they said oh yes it will be backdated to your visa ex expiration date and it'll be good for two months from then they told me that if i was not late at the end of that extension that i could go back to the six month extensions well that's what i wanted because i don't like having to go down there so often but i just have to you know, stay on top of it and not be late. So then I will go back and get another six months extension in September. After 36 months, you have to leave the country because the visa I have is a tourist visa, but it's called a Balak Bayan visa because I'm married to a Filipina and we, when we came into the country, they gave it to me. Balak Bayan visa is good for one year initially and then you can extend it for six months. Well, they didn't tell me that at first, so I renewed it for a couple two-month extensions. And then they told me, I, I asked them how long I could um, extend it for, and they told me six months. So now I know, and I'll be going six months. Well, this two-month extension cost me 2,840 pesos and the last six months extension was 6,150 pesos so three two-month extensions would be six months and would cost about 8,500 pesos so getting a six-month extension is definitely an improvement it's, uh, couple thousand pesos less and less hassle so if you are married to a Filipina or a Filipino depending on your your case if you come into the country with her you can get a Balak buying visa so the first year you won't have to worry about extensions and then you can go six months after that for the remaining two years and then you have to leave the country again I would recommend that if it's possible for you. If you're not married, then you can do the normal tourist visa, which is good for uh, 28 days, I think, and then you have to come back and renew it for another 28, and then you can renew it for two months. It's, it's much more of a hassle, so you can also do a SRRV visa, which we can explain in another video. Also, another thing is the, I think it's a 13A permanent resident. If you get that, then you don't have to worry about renewing and you can come and go as you please. So, we'll explore that in a future video. So, that's, that's it for today. I got my extension and I did get my visa renewed. If you find value in this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you like our videos, consider subscribing by clicking the little gator in the lower right hand corner. Liking and subscribing are two ways to let us know you want more of our videos 
and videos like this. And as we make more videos, we will get better at serving the type of videos that you want to watch. Thank you for being here and see you in the next video.